How you doing, Manginas? Angry Toddler here, bringing you guys domination on Sea Town. And this gameplay is gonna talk about. It's gonna talk about. That that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm gonna talk about um, girlfriend stories. And if you guys remember girlfriend stories episode one, if you haven't seen it, link is in the description. And um, we talked about elementary years. And so this one will be going through middle school years and possibly high school, depending on how long these stories take. Uh, but to start it off with, after I got done with 6th grade, I moved. I went to a different school in 7th grade, uh, the school that I went to high school on and everything, and even where I still live. And I had moved there like maybe like 2 or 3 years beforehand and just played baseball there, and I kept going to my Des Moines school. So I started going to my Ankeny Middle School called Parkview. And well, just to make matters worse, not even just being the new kid, I had to be the new kid that was fat and had a shit ton of bad acne. So I was one of those kids, and so that wasn't very fun. When you move to a new school and you look like I look like I did, wasn't one of the greatest way to meet people. I had friends, um, but I didn't have that many. And the friends that I did have, I actually I didn't really I was like kind of friends with them throughout high school, but I was never that close with them after eighth grade. Well, we just kind of went different ways, I guess. They're into they're into different stuff than I was at the time, but anyways, so. Um, this doesn't really count as a story, but I thought it was kind of funny. This doesn't count as a girlfriend story, but that Sprite girl that I was talking about, um, she, like, started talking to me on AOL Instant Messaging, if you guys remember AIM, that was, uh, the social networking of before there was Facebook and MySpace and whatnot, and so me and her started talking, and, uh, we started dating, asterisk, um, for three days, and online, and we, like, kind of hung out with each other, we were planning on it. So, remember, I still was this ugly little kid. Not uh, not little, ugly big kid. And so, um, she came to one of my hockey games, and she was actually friends with one of the hockey kids on my team as well. And she broke up with me the next day. And she, to this day, she was just like, it's not because you're, it's, well, not to this day, I don't talk to her anymore. But the next day, she was just like, it's not because of your looks. I just don't think it's going to work. And that might have been true, but I'm sure the looks didn't help. Um, so that, that's why I thought that was kind of funny. It just doesn't count, though. But after that, started 8th grade, and uh, my looks started coming back because I took this acne medicine, and it worked really well. Um, so it started coming back. I started I lose all my acne. I was losing weight from basketball, baseball, hockey, and all that jazz. And um, so I was starting to look a lot better. And so what it started with was show queer, and uh, I call it show queer, show choir. And I call it show queer because, dude, the people in there were so weird. I mean, it queer is a weird type thing. They were really into it, and I'm sorry. If you might be really into it, you might be cool still, but these people, man, I tell you what. Like, for instance, I got kicked out because I put hockey ahead of uh, show choir. Um, so anyways, so this girl in show choir had this huge crush on, and I had known her for a few years, and I had a huge, huge, huge crush on her. I was basically her puppy dog. I followed her fucking around. I, she, Whenever she asked me to do something, I did it. I was under one of those spells, and please, guys, if you're in that situation, if you're friend zoned as bad as I was, where this girl pretends like she kind of likes you and just kind of leads you on the whole time, get out of it while you can. You're gonna regret if you don't right away. Like you might like, oh, I like her. There's still a chance she's really nice to me. We're friends, dude. It's just she's just using you. Like she might think, you, I mean, she might still be friends with you, but the way she's treating you ain't right. So I know there's a lot of kids that watch this that is the same age as I was as I was then. Can I speak today? I know it's a little early, but shit. Um, so I'm just saying, get out while you still can. Um, Alright, so basically, she then, there was a dance coming up, and so what she did was hook me up with this girl, and it was one of her friends, and I wanted to go with Maddie, and um, she didn't want to go with me, I don't think, obviously, and so she asked one of her friends in front of me, and like, as I mean in front of me, I was in one computer lab, the other one was in the other computer lab. And I didn't know she was asking her, because all of a sudden I looked over, and that girl, her name was Cassie, she was shaking her head, she was like laughing, she was like really happy and excited. And so, Maddie came back over, and was like, hey, I just got you a date to the uh, to the dance. And I'm like, what? I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, well, you're going to go with Cassie. And this Cassie girl, um, she had a little bit of, I want to say a history, she had a little, she was infamous, as in her nickname was Man Bear Pig. <laughs> from South Park and this girl she was obnoxious she started all a bunch of drama and I'm just like fuck 
what the fuck did she just get me into? And so, throughout those couple, I think it was a week before the dance, I was trying to talk myself into it. It's like, alright, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe she just has a bad rap. I really don't know her that well. Um, I got to know her a little bit, and she was that bad. She was like, she was, she was a bad, she was actually just a bad person. She just was not a cool, cool person. She was just not really nice, and she was just really, really weird. So the whole week, I was basically like, fuck, I, I really don't want to go to this dance. So we get to this dance, right? And I see a bunch of my friends there. And so I kind of little do a ditcheroo. As in, I um, I get there. And first of all, there's this girl. Her name was a Adriana. And she had been talking to me that week, the first time ever. And she was just like talking shit about Cassie. And she's like, why are you going to Cassie? You can do so much better. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of got stuck into doing it. I was like, I don't really know if I really want to. Mr. Bennett with the triple grenade. But I was like, I really don't know if I want to, like, do this dance with her and all this stuff. So we get there, and I see a couple of my friends, and then I also see Adriana. And so, <laughs> I start talking to everybody, and I hadn't even danced with Casey, Cassie. And I hadn't even danced with Cassie yet. And, um, she finds me, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, what? She's like, you haven't even danced with me yet. I was like, because I don't want to dance right now. She's like... Oh, she's like made some big scene. It's just like, are you kidding me? Like, you're really gonna do that? You're gonna embarrass me in front of my friends like that? So then later on, she like pushed me and like kicked me. It's like, what the fuck with you girls kicking people? Like, what are we now? Two? And uh, so long story short, I started dancing with Adriana. And my parents still make fun of me to this day because this dance, I went with one girl and came back with another. <laughs> Because it was before I could drive, so my parents had to come pick me up and stuff. And I went to dinner, actually, after the dance with Adriana. And, um, so Cassie was really pissed, because these girls, I guess, they hate each other. And Adriana admitted something to me, that the only reason she started dancing with me and talking to me was because she was trying to get at, Ca uh, get at Cassie. And, well, the problem was, she started to like me then. Uh, she said she started to like me and stuff like that. And she, this girl, she was kind of cute. She was a swimmer for the uh, school. And I thought she was alright looking. Well, of course, there had to be stories about her, too. Um, and we're talking about 8th grade, right? So a lot of people take a lot of stuff out of context and exaggerate stuff and think stuff is a lot bigger deal than it really is. And so <laughs> I say that and, like, you know, it's like, oh, shit, there must have been something up. Um... There was a lot, a lot, a lot of rumors. Uh, something about she had like 12 toes was one rumor. Another one is that she did witchcraft. The other one was that she was bisexual. Uh, the other one was that she was a huge slut. And it's like in 8th grade, like, can you be a slut? Are there sluts in 8th grade? I I'm, I'm a little bit behind the times. Like, I hadn't even kissed anybody yet. And I feel like everybody was having sex by then. And I, I don't know, man. <laughs> it was a little early for me. But, so those were the stories. And, like, we never dated, me and this girl, but we hung out all the time. We, like, worked out the YMCA together. We just, like, like, I remember she kissed me on the cheek. We didn't actually do a full kiss. And and because she liked me and stuff. Um, so, but I was so nervous about my, um, basically my, what am I looking for? What are the words I'm looking for? I was worried about people judging me by hanging out with her if she's really this different. And I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have fucking cared what people said. If I really liked somebody, I shouldn't. That should, none of that stuff should have bothered me. But finally, I asked her. I was like, "All right, I'm hearing all this shit, and I heard a lot of shit about this stuff." Um, and uh, I was just like, uh, "I was like, I just, I just have to know. Is it true? If it's true, I need to know. You know what I mean? You got to be honest with me." The bisexual thing was true, but it's in eighth grade. How do you know if you're bisexual in eighth grade? Is that possible? I don't know. I feel like it's a little. I feel like it's a little early to know if you're bisexual. And to be honest, I really don't care. A lot of people are like, "Wow, bisexual. That's kind of cool." You know, that means she makes out with chicks. But at the time, eighth grade, it's a little weird. And honestly, right now, I don't really care if you're bi or not. I think it's all right. I don't have a problem with it. Um, and so the witchcraft thing, I, I, I don't really remember for sure, but I feel like she denied that. I feel like she said that wasn't true. The twelve toes wasn't true either. And there was other rumors. I really don't remember what they were though. But, uh, yeah, this commentary is coming to an end. I still have another story about these two girls. Uh, they actually get in a fight, and I get blamed for it. So, uh, that gives you something to look forward to. And then I get to talk about my 
relationship with this girl that uh, I call her two years too long because that's how long I dated her and so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think uh, I can't see what I do in this score I think it's like 46 and 7 stay hairy manginas